finally got to see the first full color, full resolution images. You might have seen some of the truly breathtaking images just released by NASA, captured by the most powerful space-based telescope ever built. The largest, most complex, and most powerful telescope that we've ever sent to space. But these images are in fact an illusion. Not a visual illusion, but an illusion of time. These images don't show us the universe as it is. These are pictures that show us how the universe was a very, very, very long time ago. This telescope is in fact a time machine. And that's not a metaphor, that's actually literally true. Lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. A deeper view of our universe. We're seeing these galaxies in a way that we've never been able to see before. It's astounding to me. And with this time machine, we can look across the cosmos and learn more about births and deaths of galaxies in order to tell us more about our own galaxy, both its past and its future. So this whole time machine thing, let me explain. Light takes time to move from space between the point where it is emitted, say a star in this picture, and the point where it is observed, the sensors on the James Webb telescope. This creates a time lag, which means the image we see is literally an image of the past. When the distances are short, the effect on time is negligible. But take light from our sun. That takes around eight to nine minutes to reach us here on Earth. So if you look up at the daytime sky, the sun you see is in fact the sun as it was eight or nine minutes ago. You're looking at the recent past. Now, let's expand this idea out over the vastness of the universe. Light takes a lot longer to travel from a galaxy far, far away to where it can be observed by us. So images of far off galaxies are pictures of a dim and distant past. The farther we can see in space, the farther we can see back in time. To get a feel for just how far, let's take a look at this composite deep field image from James Webb. What we're looking at here are thousands of galaxies. The nearest cluster of galaxies in the foreground of the picture is nearly five billion light years away. So that means we're seeing these galaxies as they looked five billion years ago. They might not even exist now. But let's look a little closer. The gravitational mass of this galaxy cluster is so massive, it acts as a kind of astronomical lens that draws closer the light from the older, more distant galaxies, bringing them into view. And at levels of detail we have never seen before. To give you a feel for how distant and old these galaxies are, light from this galaxy here traveled over 11 billion years before Webb's sensors captured it over 12.6 billion years from this one, 13 billion from this one, and light from this galaxy has traveled for the longest, 13.1 billion years. So with these images, we are traveling back in time to see what these galaxies look like 11, 12, 13 plus billion years ago. And it is the clarity of these images that's getting astronomers really excited. This is because it holds the potential to unlock the secrets of how these ancient galaxies were born, which may in turn help us to understand how our galaxy was formed. So what's next? The Hubble telescope has already captured grainier images of galaxies 13.4 billion years ago, but NASA expects future images from the Webb telescope to time travel even further back in time to shed light on the very first galaxies that came into being following the Big Bang some 13.8 billion years ago. And that's peering into a part of space that we've never seen before. And as we look farther back in time, the Webb telescope takes us tantalizingly close to the birth of the universe. And this is such an exciting moment because Webb isn't just stretching our temporal horizons farther into the past to explore the universe's first snaps and crackles. It's also searching for distant worlds that might support life or harbor intelligent life. Yeah, that means aliens. But say we were to stumble across distant civilizations in a galaxy far, far away, it would be an image of a long time ago, and those civilizations may have long since expired. For me, looking at these pictures, connecting with deep time offers a comforting and humbling contrast with the busyness and fussiness of everyday life. And all you need to do is either look at these pictures or look up at the nighttime sky and remember, you're looking at the distant cosmic past. But while some of it may have since disappeared, other galaxies might have been born, just not soon enough for their light to reach you. Yet.
You just have to keep on looking. Back to the birth of the universe. Go away, go away. That's looking at a part of space that we've never seen 